Alright, what is going on people? This is gonna be video number three, breakdown number three for the Russian unboxing breakdown series, which is gonna be the third one. This is gonna be the third one, like I said. And uh, we're gonna look at Dmitry Piro today. We're not gonna look at Beevil anymore because I wanna change things up. So what I wanna talk about today is front foot fighting and how Russian fighters have the ability to stay on the front foot despite of uh, getting into a lot of exchanges, okay? And that's one thing that I really like about the Russian style. They never, they never ever retreat on the back foot unless they're hurt, okay? Even Beevil, Beevil has a lot of movement, but he's not as reliant on the back foot and he's not too reliant on the back foot as well. So the first thing I wanna talk about now is gonna be the inside crouch. Basically what they do here, as opposed to bending at the waist, their first instinct is to get on that front leg, okay, lean forward, and then crouch close to their opponent. And this is what keeps them grounded, this is what keeps them planted on the ground, and this is why it's very hard to push them back. You don't just see this in in, um, in Pure Rogue, you also see this in Triple G, although Triple G is from Kazakhstan, but they have, you know, similar styles. So here again, what you're gonna see, Pure Rogue could have done a lot of things here, he got pushed back on the back foot, but watch how he resets and he gets back on that front leg real quick. Boom. He crouches down right there, okay? Let's look at another one. He's gonna again get pushed on that back leg, as you can see here. And then, what he's gonna do, boom, reset, drops that back leg right there, and now he's back on that front foot. Now, let's first talk about why front foot fighting is important. Front foot fighting is important because it allows you to load up more in your shots and it's a lot easier to actually throw your counters on the front foot as opposed to throwing it on the back foot, okay? The only time when you can be good at countering on the back foot is if you're throwing the rear hand because you need that, you need that rotation, you need that, that momentum from the back leg in order to throw those rear shots. But if you're trying to throw, you know, lead punches, um, you're gonna have to be on that front leg, okay? So now, with that inside crouch, guess what he does next? He has another weapon, which is gonna be the up jab. What you notice with a lot of Russian fighters is that whenever they throw their jabs, not only do they throw it straight, they also throw it up. So as you can see there, from that inside crouch, it's gonna be layer by layer right here. From that inside crouch, he's now gonna use his up jab in order to take advantage of that position so that he doesn't have to remain tall all the time, okay? so that he can still establish his offense from that position instead of throwing his jabs straight and instead of staying tall he's gonna actually throw it in an up motion upward motion so here he's gonna crouch again instead of throwing the jabs stiff straightforward he's gonna throw it up right here boom okay let's look at another one he's again gonna throw that jab up he's gonna throw it to the, to the body first, and then now he's gonna throw that up. He's gonna reach a little bit more for it. Now, does it have as much power as a stiff jab? The answer is no. But that's the beautiful thing about the Russian style. Although they have the ability to, or although they are gifted with natural power, they don't feel the need to use it all the time. That's the excellent thing about this style, man. And they don't have to, you know, load up on all of their shots. They can mix up pillow shots together with power shots. So that's the up jab right there. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about that sets up his offense on a front foot is going to be the lead right hand on that front leg. So what he's going to do here is going to, again, stay on that front leg, boom. And instead of getting a lot of momentum from that back leg and then throw in a power right hand, He's just gonna throw it bam, like a stiff punch, right? Not a lot of power behind it, but again, the beauty of the Russian style is that it doesn't need a lot of power. So it throws that front foot lead right hand. Again here, he's gonna lean on that front foot. Very little momentum coming from his back leg. His back leg right here is very stiff. But then he's gonna throw it anyway. And it lands, it, it scores guys. It doesn't have to knock a motherfucker out. It just needs to score. And that's the beautiful thing about this. Bam, right? Stays on that front foot, finds the right timing, sees the lead hand down of uh, the opponent, and then he throws that straight right hand to the side of the face again there, boom, sneaky, sneaky right here, bam, right, sneaky punch, boom, not a lot of power behind it, no momentum on that back leg, as you can see there, but then it lands and it scores, okay, another one right there, beautiful, let's see another one, if he throws another right hand, no he doesn't. So now we're gonna look at the Soviet body uppercut. Basically the difference of this and a typical uppercut is that Soviets throw it in a neutral grip, okay? They don't throw it in a supinated grip. 
They don't throw it with the palms up. They throw it with the palms facing the wall, okay? So look at this right here. Again, this doesn't have as much power as a typical uppercut, but it works, bam, okay? It lands and it's more precise even in most cases. So what it's gonna do again, crouch here on that front leg, boom. Stay relatively low. And then he just throws it right there. It's kind of a mix between a jab and an uppercut, but it's more of an uppercut. And then let's look at a closer angle right, there, right here. Again, staying on that front leg, guys supposed to bending at the waist. As you can see there, he was close to bending at the waist again. Boom. But guess what he does? Squares up, bam, drops that back leg. Now he's back on that front foot. And then he's gonna throw the Soviet, Soviet uppercut and then he's gonna follow it up with the liver hook. So again, drop, boom. Let's look at that once again. Bend, drop, upper hook. Okay, very good combination right there. All right, here's the last one. Double right hand going back to what I talked about a while ago. That front leg, uh, lead right hand. Little to no momentum on the back leg. How do you know? Because his heel is lifted off the ground. He's not getting any momentum from that. So, this is mainly a punch, an arm punch to set up a, another powerful shot, but again, it lands. Boom, double right hand, crouch down, double right hand, crouch down on that front leg, boom, Soviet uppercut. So that was it, this is episode three. Look, man, I probably upload this on YouTube just so that uh, the, the people on YouTube can also see it. But um, yeah, that was it. I'm given access to this on YouTube, and uh, if you want to see the rest, you can go over on Patreon and uh, join, you know? So that was it. Peace out. Subscribe if you're new.